I'm Rick Bickard from Railgun Marketing, and today's micro training is going to be on hyper local marketing how your small business can use big data to target prospects in your local community. So, who is this micro training good for? Well, if you're a small business owner and you're currently using paid, digital, or traditional marketing to get your message to your prospects, uh, as long as you have a, pros a product or service that has a transaction value of at least 100 bucks and that you understand that marketing usually does not make a home run the first time you put it out, but that it's going to take uh, 90 to 120 days for you to optimize a particular campaign so that it is giving you a really good return on your investment. So what are you going to learn today? Well, we're going to talk about what exactly hyper-local hyper marketing is. And in order to do that, i got to teach you a little bit about geographic targeting, as well as a bit about demographics and psychographics. And then we're going to end today by showing you exactly how you do hyperlocal marketing and how you can use that in your local area. So let's start with a question. How can your business market to specific people based on their behavior and where they live? Um, so let's say you have a landscaping company. If you knew that in that these three people each visited a garden center in the last 12 months. They had a family income of 150,000 plus and they lived in a newly constructed community. Would you be able to use that information to entice them to get a quote from your landscaping company? Well, obviously the answer is yes. Uh, the question has always been, how do you do that? So if you think about this picture, what is the one thing that every person in this image has in common? Um, you know, besides the fact that they're breathing. Uh, it's simple. Probably almost all of them have a smartphone. And smartphones are interesting because they transmit their location via GPS um, pretty much continually depending on the apps you're running. So if you're running uh, weather apps, uh, some social media, uh, if you've got, uh, like for me, I use Waze for my mapping on my vehicle. My data of where that phone is, is transmitted 24-7. So um, they always know where my phone is. Not necessarily me, but they'll know where the phone is. And that, loca that location data is also recorded. And this is what brings us to hyper-local marketing, because you can use that data to grow your business. So imagine this. If you could show your ads only to people in your neighborhood and only to those that were likely to have an interest in your specific product or service, whatever it is you happen to happen to do. You'd eliminate a lot of the waste that um, you would associate with other platforms. So as an example, where I live, when I drive into my community, there are dozens of little signs on the lawn advertising different businesses. Well, the majority of those signs I have no interest in. So in order for them to place their sign for me to see it was completely wasted. And then the other problem is because I'm driving, you'll see signs that have things like a phone number on it and no location. And how am I supposed to write down that information if I'm exposed to it while I'm driving by? When you put the ad on a phone like this, you get more time. And if your ad is done right, you can, you can really appeal to whatever that specific person's interest is both in uh, finding their data and in giving them an offer that would be appealing to them. So with hyperlocal you get to choose specific geographic targets. So in the first image you can target people that visit specific addresses. Um, if you want to get real sneaky about this you can actually target all your competitors locations and show your ads to their customers. Uh, you can use a specific radius around your business location, which would be the picture in the middle. And the last one is you can target specific cities, communities, or neighborhoods. So in the last picture, the one on the right, um, that would be the area of Calgary where I live and where uh, one of our uh, partners, uh, Jen, lives. Uh, so outside of those circles, the ads will never be seen. The other interesting thing about Hyperlocal is it allows you to choose demographic and psychographic overlays. So you can choose things like uh, age, gender, income, 
education, interests, hobbies, niches, subcultures, and a lot more. So with all that information, you, you have a pretty good idea of the who, and you've already determined the where. So how do you use this information? Well, with Hyperlocal, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create multiple sets of display ads that answer different interests. So in the first set of ads, uh, these are both for, for mattresses. You'll see the first one, they are talking about sleeping without back pain. And the second one is Black Friday savings on a mattress. So you would have two different reasons for people to go to your website, although both of them are probably looking for mattresses. Secondly, you want to determine where you're going to send the traffic. So this is a screenshot of one of our landing pages. And you'll notice that um, this page only really talks about the one thing that we've done to drive them there. So it would be actually the video that you're watching here, which is how to get more business with targeted hyperlocal marketing. Um, if you're watching this video, chances are that you had to enter your name and your email to see it. And we're going to use that information to start showing you more of how you can um, use Hyperlocal to grow your business. Last thing you need to decide is, is the final details, which are days and times that you would want your ads to display. Uh, for example, if you're trying to drive to a make them have them make a phone call to your business you wouldn't want to show them your ad at three in the morning in all likelihood because there's not going to be anyone there to answer the phone so you determine days determine times you determine your ad budget hyperlocal ads are based on impressions per thousand which is cpm plus you will pay um, a premium for each click depending on the audience it is important to know that the tighter you target your audience the higher your cpm cost is going to be but as an example, because a lot of people will say, well, you know, how much does it start? Our most popular package is $597 a month. It shows the ad a minimum of 20,000 times. And we do five complete sets of banner ads for you for the $600. If you already have ads and you're just looking at, um, looking at buying the traffic, you know, you can get started for as low as a couple hundred bucks. Um, we have a lot of campaigns that are quite a bit more than either of these but it, you know again a small business you want to start small test and you want to do your optimization before you start spending a lot of money on it because you want to make sure that you've minimized the waste you know testing headlines doing that kind of thing that's why the landing page is critical to your success so when you went to the landing page for this video you'll notice you couldn't really navigate anywhere um, you couldn't go to our website there were no extraneous clicks nothing that would take you away from the one thing that we wanted you to do which was to put in your name and your email your landing page has to be as effective as that um, you can also do retargeting and that's to show different ads to people that come to that have gone to your website because perhaps they didn't find the information they wanted so you want to keep rotating those ads giving them different options to get them to come back because you've already paid for the first click that's the most expensive one uh, retargeting usually runs like uh, one-fifth to one-tenth of the amount of the initial click so you want to be using that wherever you can so recap um, hyper local marketing is best for your business uh, particularly if you're already using some kind of paid traffic uh, your product or service is more than $100. You know where your prospect lives uh, or where they go. You have some sort of demographic or psychographic information about your prospect. Um, you're able to create a minimum of three different hooks. Those are your, your banner ads that uh, you want to make sure that you have three different, three different offers that are going to... Um, think of it like fishing. Uh, you can have three people in the boat and one person is catching more than the other two because he's using a different kind of hook and it, it's exactly the same thing. Your offer is your hook. Um, you have to have a landing page designed to capture your prospects information and give them what they need and that you need to commit to a uh, 90 to 120 day period for testing and optimization. So is Hyperlocal right for your business? Honestly, I have no idea, uh, and I generally will never have an idea until we talk about it. So we do offer a complimentary 15-minute call 
Um, the button will be on the page below the video. You can click that. Um, obviously, there's no call. There's no obligation, no cost for the call, and there's no obligation. You know, this is if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, no problem. You know, we are not uh, we're not going to try and high pressure you into something because that's just not how we operate. Uh, and that is it. If you do have any questions, by all means, reach out. We're happy to answer them for you. Uh, you'll notice on the on the page there is a little chat button there. If, if we're at our desk, you can put something in the chat. We're happy to talk to you or call us at 587-807-6750. Lastly, if you do want to get the slides for the presentation, just text the word HYPER to our phone number and we will have them sent out to you. Thanks so much. I hope you have a fantastic day.